Millions of dollars and years of hard work have led to today's announcement. Shaw Air Force Base unveiling its new Reaper operations facilities. The new operations and new headquarters building allowing squadrons to continue their work with aircrafts that are piloted remotely like the Reapers, which the base says is part of the weapon system that airmen are using in their national defense strategy. News 19 Sam Perez has more. Today's a momentous day for the MQ-9 community. Colonel Nick Peterson is the commander of the 432nd Wing based out of Creech Air Force Base in Nevada. And he's in charge of the 25th Attack Group in Sumter, which is celebrating the opening of its permanent facility. We wanted a location on the East Coast and we wanted to expand MQ-9 operations. And they really felt like Shaw <laughs> was the perfect uh, location for uh, to expand our, our, our operations. Peterson says they've been operating in temporary facilities for nearly four years. Now that the new multi-million dollar buildings are open, Peterson says it allows for two different squadrons that operate MQ-9s, which are remotely piloted aircrafts that help with different types of missions from intelligence and surveillance to combat search and rescue. It quadruples the spaces, but more importantly, it gives them, uh, that feels, just kind of feels like a temporary facility. It's not their real home. This will be their real home. What we're doing now uh, is basically allowing folks time off to train and prepare for future conflicts in addition while we're still flying and that's what expanding the MQ-9 community and bringing folks to Shaw has done for us. This significant development not only enhances our operational capabilities but signifies a substantial improvement in the quality of life for our dedicated airmen. Colonel Trevor Merrill says this project started as a part of the Air Combat Command's Culture and Process Improvement Program, which recognized a need for more support. MQ-9 air crew were working weeks in a row without time off, flying seven to eight hours of flight time every single day or more, and were unable to have the normal development opportunities afforded to other air crew. First Street Squad Sumter, Sam Perez, News 19, WLTX. And right now, the base says it's planning to have the air crew move into the buildings, which they hope to have finished sometime this summer. All right, folks, don't